Hi, I'm Renee. I clean and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I clean a dining room, basement back room, kids' school area, laundry room cabinets, pantry, kitchen cupboards, bathroom cabinets, and a master bedroom. I started in the dining room. This room was causing the most stress for the mother. So here is the backstory. The brother-in-law contacted me to help his sister-in-law reorganize her home after her husband had committed suicide three years ago. She has five kids from the age of seven years old to 20. She was now ready to rearrange the house and start moving forward. More on this backstory later. So we started in the dining room, cleaning off the dining room table. We organized items in like categories and in which room the items belonged in. This mother had no problem digging in and helping out. She also didn't mind if she was on camera, and neither did the dog. I read all the comments and took your advice. I have a longer video and slowed the video down. By the way, if you would subscribe to my channel and watch to the end, you can help support the work I do. Thank you. If you notice to my left, that is a sliding door. I'm moving the picture frames out of the way based on what she wants to keep and what room she wants to move them in. This is going to help with the sliding door to be able to go against the wall. As you can see, I am blurring out the children's faces.
so glad I could help this family. Cleaning off the dining room table with the multi-purpose cleaner and then putting the table runner down. She was so excited to have her dining room back. Now cleaning out the desk with all of her daughter's items in it. I just put them in a box so her daughter could go through the items later. On to the basement back room. So it's dark originally, and I changed out the light to a three panel LED garage light. I'll put a link in the description below. It really brightened up the basement. As we started out in the basement, she was letting me know what was gonna be donated and what would go to a different room. She had stated what was on the racks had already been previously gone through and purged, and so we were just reorganizing. All of the black and yellow lid boxes were her husband's items. There was one box that was cardboard that had her husband's items in it. I combined that into one of the black boxes so nothing would get ruined. As we were putting boxes outside the door to be donated, the kids helped out by taking the items upstairs. This dresser was just outside the basement back room. I'm taking the items out of the plastic containers and organizing it in the dresser. The next day I started on the front hall closet. I removed all the coats so that they could go through them to see what fit which child and what was going to be donated. None of the coats were going to go back into the closet as she was getting a new closet system put into her master bedroom and that's where all the coats were going to go. This room used to be the master bedroom. It has been converted into the child's bedroom and where she homeschools the children. Each child had their own bookcase. As I was organizing the items, I had one of the children tell me whose items were whose. The top of the school table was chalkboard.
The garage was converted into a master bedroom and we started there next. The corner we're currently working on was a lot of items that needed to be donated. As we were moving the items, they were put into the correct room. We also cleaned out this corner hutch. This hutch was going to go to a family member. That will open up the wall for a new closet system. Everything that came out of the hutch will also go in the new closet system. On to the kitchen cabinets. So here's the rest of the backstory. Her parents also live in the basement. Her dad has dementia and her mom and a visiting nurse help take care of him. This mom definitely has her hands full. In these top cupboards, I'm putting items that they don't use that often. You see me throwing down paper towels, that is to one of the children, as he puts it into the laundry room. What I put in this container was all the spare light bulbs. Underneath the sink was next. I added wire metal racking to add extra space. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. Sorry for blocking the camera so much. In the laundry room, I started by removing all the items. The medicine was then checked to see what was expired and thrown away. All of the tools were moved to the toolbox. I then moved the shelf up so all the different sized coffee cups could fit in the cabinet. The only thing I really did here was move everything out, clean out behind the Lazy Susan and the shelves on the Lazy Susan. This was the bathroom linen closet. One child helped me out and emptied the linen closet. All of the medical items that you see on this door went into the laundry room cabinet. Once the closet was emptied, I refolded everything and put like items with like items and sheet sets with sheet sets.
Next, I did the bathroom vanity. Each of the girls had a side. I worked on the left side only because the right side was very organized. I also emptied out the bathroom drawers and organized them. Back to the kitchen. The pan drawer. And then to the pantry. The space was tight so I was unable to video this. But here's the final result. Are you ready for the final reveal? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.